Hello everyone, I'm Dom from Media.io and today we're gonna take a look at the video editor on Media.io. Media.io is an all-in-one online video editor that everyone can use to record, edit and share videos with ease. It also has other creative functions like the meme generator, thumbnail creator or GIF converter. It's available on any computer with internet access as you don't need to download and install the software for it. It's super easy to use thanks to its intuitive design. So without any further ado, let's go to media.io and from the tools menu select the video editor. With the video editor, you can crop the video, add pictures to it, add a nice background music, use rich templates to make it look better. You can add subtitles to it using the auto subtitles tool, making the process hours shorter compared to doing it manually. Now, an important note is that you have to be signed in in order to save your project and also to use some of the features. But it's free to join, so that shouldn't be a problem either. Once the video editor's interface is opened, upload a video or videos from your desktop or use a URL link from YouTube for example, or record one using your computer's webcam. Before all, it's practical to choose an aspect ratio depending on the platform the video will be created for. Drag your video on the timeline. To split the video, move your cursor where you want to split the video and click on the scissors icon. To delete a segment from the video, split it again in an outpoint and then select the clip by clicking on it and then clicking on the trash icon. If you're working with multiple clips, you can use the fade transition in between them. The fade transition can make the video look smoother and better at grabbing your audience's attention and work with them on multiple video tracks. This feature is really useful when it comes to editing a dialogue for example. By clicking right over here, you can freeze a frame and then change the length of it by pulling on the little blue layer here. You can resize your video clip by clicking and dragging on it and if you click right up here, you can crop it as well. And then last but not least, you can reposition it within the frame. And obviously you can always undo and redo your actions. To add subtitles to your video, you can do it manually with the text tool in the video editor, but that feature is better for call to action captions or annotations. You have a lot of pre-made text templates. For normal subtitles though, we're gonna use the auto subtitle tool. It will save us the headache of manually transcribing and time adjusting lines on the timeline. It works with a 90% accuracy, so it's a really great tool. Very useful if you're creating podcasts or educational videos for example, because having subtitles make any videos easier to understand. First of all, select the language that's spoken in the video. Then choose the timeline you want to generate subtitles for. And then click start. If the transcription isn't accurate somewhere, you can fix that manually. You can also add and remove lines later and manually position them on the timeline. Up here, if you switch to the subtitle style tab, you can customize the text shown in the video. Choose from different template effects, customize font type, size and color. Edit the spacing and the letter case. If you drag on the text, you can position it wherever you'd like to within the frame and you can change the size of it from here as well. The subtitle style will be applied to all so you only have to set it once. Up here, you can rotate and set its transparency. You can save the subtitle file to your desktop separately as an SRT or TXT file, but you can also export it burnt in in the video when you're done with the whole project. If you want to learn more about the auto subtitle tool, please watch our previous video on media.io's official YouTube channel. The link is in the description below. To add background or any sort of music, upload an audio file to your media library or go to the music tab and choose a piece of music from there. But in both cases, what you'll have to do is dragging the file on the timeline. Position it wherever you'd like to and change the length of it. 
up here you can add a fade in and fade out effect and set the volume of the audio file as well. In the elements menu you can add a bunch of little animations and effects which can make the video look really cool. To add an intro or outro template, go to this tab right here and select the one you like. You have a bunch to choose from. You have templates for e-commerce display products, broadcast, self-media. There are new templates for different sizes suitable for TikTok, YouTube Shorts and other platforms. You can definitely find the one that suits your brand the best. You can add them to your current timeline or create a new project with them as well. Once you have it on your timeline, you can customize it by adding your own logo, name and clips in it. Once you're done with editing your video, in the top right corner, click on the export button. Give your video a name, choose an output format and an output resolution. Click on continue. After media.io finished processing the video, you can save it to your desktop. And that's it! Easy, right? Now it's your turn. Go ahead and try editing your video on media.io and then tell us about how it worked for you and what you edited. We're excited to see. Make sure to check back for other tutorial videos as we showcase all of media.io's features in videos like this one. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching and I'm gonna see you in the next video.